Our goal for this lesson is to learn the structure and function of the kidneys and how they filter blood in the body to reabsorb water and form urine. So the major function of the kidneys, remember, is to filter blood. We're going to take you from big to small. Starting large, the kidneys are two bean-shaped organs located in the upper abdominal cavity. So we'll put abdomen. And they are located actually towards the back or the dorsal part of the body. These organs can be divided into three regions. They are divided into the outer renal cortex, the inner renal medulla, this inside part, and the renal pelvis. You might recall that the adrenal glands in the endocrine system also have a cortex or an exterior portion and a medulla or the interior portion. Well, the kidneys also have these portions and they have endocrine function. So going a bit smaller inside the renal pelvis towards the center of the kidney are the major structure of the kidney called a nephron. So how does a nephron work to filter blood? Well, nephrons return water and much needed nutrients back to the body to restore blood volume and pressure. So water and nutrients help with blood pressure. And this is essential to all cell function. So nephrons also get rid of waste and unneeded fluids, which results in urine formation. So Let's go through these two functions. Dual purpose. One is to reabsorb water, blood cells, and amino acids, and two is to remove waste. So there are four major processes that occur in the nephron. The first step is called filtration. Filtration is simply a process of passive diffusion. Due to the strong blood pressure um, entering the capillaries, of the glomerulus right here. The plasma entering this blood is forced out of the blood, or sorry, entering these capillaries is forced out of the blood and, um, and into this Bowman's capsule right here, this capsule around the glomerulus. And as with any sieve, anything with holes in it, some larger particles such as cells and proteins get left behind. They're too big for these holes. So the second and third processes, known as secretion and reabsorption, modify what, what was forced into the nephron. What has already entered the nephron is called the filtrate. So write that here. Filtrate. So what's important about reabsorption? Well, glucose and amino acids are always reabsorbed back into the blood. Other substances are more regulated based on how much of a substance the body needs. Water, for example, is reabsorbed back into the blood as well. So we think of water and glucose as being important, so they are reabsorbed. Where does this happen? This long loop of Henle, the distal convoluted tubules, and in the collecting tubules. This is where water and glucose are mainly reabsorbed, mostly water. So most of the secretion and reabsorption that takes place happen in the proximal and the distal convoluted tubules. The last job of the nephron is to excrete wastes. So it excretes it as a substance you might know well called urine. Everything that passes into this collecting tubule at the end of the nephron travels to the bladder through the ureter, I'll put ureter and then bladder, where it is stored until it's ready to be released through the urethra. So a, point, a couple things to remember. Two functions of the nephron. One is to remove waste and reabsorb nutrients like water and amino acids. And the four jobs of the nephron, filtration, secretion, reabsorption, and excretion. 